Hey everybody, welcome back to Awful Taste but Great Execution. Speaking of things with great execution, you should check out our sponsor, Instagram.com slash Jordan Marin. It's linked in the description. Go give it a follow and help with the hashtag get jarred on to one mil on Insta in 2021 campaign. Once again, we haven't seen a great deal of movement so far, but we have 11 months left. I believe. Help me out. Check it out. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Also, check out the like button. It's down below. You can maybe give it a click or something like that. Let's start off with number 19. Late to the recent lamp party. Oh, God. That's terrible. It's nighttime, and every time you go turn on the lamp to the room, it just immediately illuminates this figure. I don't care how long you've had that in your house. I don't think there's a way to get used to that. It's just like there's a person there every time you turn on the light and you just... Oh, God. I bet those are really expensive, and I'm sorry you couldn't pay me enough to have a heart attack every single time I go into a room. And I bet you whoever has one of these, they've got them all over their house, just sitting in furniture just like this. Because what else are you going to do? This thing is sitting down. It doesn't support itself. It has to be in a chair. You have to, you literally have to dedicate furniture to these things. This Yee Yee Ace haircut. You know, given his facial expression here, I don't think he realized what was happening. This is what happened. He went to the barber and he's like, I trust you. Do whatever you want. And then the barber turned his hair into a lunch lady's hairnet and finally held up the mirror. And this is what... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there's no way he was expecting this. <laughs> Asked my mom for a bedside table lamp for Christmas and received this sassy young lady. I don't know why my stomach just growled. I'm very hungry, but not because of this lamp right here. I mean, it's kind of... kind of cool. It's unique i guess your mom didn't want to just give you like the regular old lamp that you might get that's just you know black metal or something like that no it had to be unique something to remember her by and you know later on you're gonna you're gonna look at that and it's gonna remind you of your mom in a way that might not happen if it were just like a regular old you know stand-up table lamp made of metal and not super feathery so that you have to worry about it maybe catching on fire or something like that because it's hot around soft fluffy feathery plastic things yep no it's all good hair uh dresser hand grenade honestly it's it's kind of cool it's very useful as well like you have storage all the way around now i guess uh, not entirely practical because i guess with a normal dresser you know the drawers do go all the way to the back so you are utilizing the entire inside but if you have a Grenade-shaped dresser, I guess it's going to be a lot harder to make full use of the interior real estate without doing drawers all the way around that are either triangular or trapezoid-shaped or something like that. Are they triangular-shaped? That's what I wondered. Do they go all the way to the back and then you pull them out? But wouldn't that be a problem? Because the opening is this big, but as it goes back, it gets smaller. So as you pull the drawer out, it's going to just become more and more wobbly <laughs> in, this, in the slot. It, because they can't, they can't go back like this, because then the drawers would hit each other and they wouldn't be able to go in. So either the drawers are incredibly shallow, or you, as you take it out, it just kind of falls. You've seen jorts, but have you seen a... J jiller? A what? Oh. Oh, it's just... It's jeans on a, a pillow. A jiller. I guess I should have known from the word. How did I not put two and two together? I mean... Yeah... I could understand if they maybe just took denim, you know, solid sheets of denim and put it over the pillar, but just slapping on a bunch of old jeans is, it's a, it's an interesting look. And also just knowing people, like people are bound to dispose of gum in there and you're, it's not going to clean very well. Now I see your Hitler teapot and raised with the Kim, Kim Jong Il teapot. Huh? You know, I, I can't tell if this is made jokingly or if this is like a real thing that someone would would have potentially in North Korea to commemorate the, the dear leader. Um, legends say he had the world's most incredible hearing and was able to morph his ears like this in order to be able to fine tune, hone in on sounds and triangulate them and fi figure out exactly where the enemy was from miles away. And this is how it was done. Also very useful for pouring tea. I see your giraffe chandelier and raise you gorilla lamp. 
We got a lot of people like one-upping each other and trying to raise each other this month. All right, I see how it is. Given that the right place and the right time, this could could look kind of cool. I could see this in some like real old fancy mansion or something. It's just propped up next to the staircase or something. It's right next to the end of a super ornate railing or something like that. And you just have you have the gorilla statue with the light right there, helps illuminate the steps, because presumably whoever lives there is very, very old, but maybe they're an ape enthusiast. And you gotta be able to see where the steps start so you don't trip and absolutely destroy yourself. I'm not looking forward to being of an age where I have to worry about tripping on stairs on a regular basis. No thank you and injuring myself badly. But this guy, he's gonna help. Helpful gorilla. Mm-hmm. Pineapple, or pizza pineapple. I was gonna say pineapple pizza. My brain was filling it in, but you don't you don't usually see it the other way. Now, I like is it actually a pineapple? That's what I'm wondering, or is the pineapple just kind of encasing the pizza? Is it actually you you scoop it out and there's pie just it's half of a pineapple underneath the cheese and pepperoni, mushroom and olive. Like it's just half a pineapple is under there, and you have to figure out how to eat it, or. Or is it just a fancy way of serving a... It's not actually a pineapple pizza. There's no pineapple on the pizza. It's just instead of dough... Oh, God. Is it really just like tomato sauce and cheese on top of half a pineapple? Are we sure that this is Awful Taste but great execution? Because I'm kind of seeing Awful Taste and also kind of... They just put cheese and tomato sauce on a pineapple execution. This mailbox in my neighborhood, is it supposed to be like a... Uh... A marlin or something? Or is it supposed to be a narwhal? I can't quite tell, but I'm assuming it's Florida. So, yep, if, if that's, I, Cape Coral also sounds like it'd be a place in Florida. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere in Florida. It's gotta be Florida. There's no other way it could be anywhere else but Florida. This poor fish looks incredibly surprised that it ran into a mailbox. People. Stop throwing your mailboxes into the ocean because this is what's going to happen. A marlin is going to impale itself into your mailbox and then it's not going to be able to eat because its mouth is going to be in your mailbox and that's really going to suck. Joe Exotic's pickup truck limo. This, oh god, oh man. This image has like way more to it as well. I'm pretty sure that like wasn't this like parked outside of the jail that he's at because he was he was expecting to get a pardon and so he got the it just he called it over there thinking he was it's just oh my god it's bizarre on so many levels it, what a oh my god what a wild ride Whew. wow that's and and he still and he still has it like I guess it's still in the in his possession even though he's in jail what a what a wild ride that show was! I didn't even I I didn't know he still had it. Predator beard, honestly, pretty cool for Halloween or something like that. See, that's not even awful taste because I'm sure there's a reason for doing it, and you can just take a shower and then you're all you're all good. But yeah, I think this is super cool. And also, like, imagine wearing like a predator mask with it, but you just you know cut out the how would you I don't know how you get the mask on. It would kind of have to like go on from the back and then zip up from the top or something, which would look a little weird. But, uh, I don't know. That's pretty cool. It'd just be like, you'd have to really be careful about turning your head. If someone says hi to you from behind, you'd move your head around. You're like, ah, oh, shoot! I worked so hard on this, now I just crinkled it up. God dang it. This porcelain gravy cat. <laughs> I love getting my food vomited on. Is there any sauce that would not look bad coming out of gravy cat? I'm just trying to think, like, what what might you be pouring? Soy sauce, everything is pretty much like some shade of brown. And it just, in that context, not great. Like, if it was something, a cartoony color, like bright, no, bright green would still be like, oh, there's a problem going on in there. Orange? Red? No, red's also bad. Pink? Pink? No. I don't, no, I'm not sure if there's a color you can get away with on this where it doesn't have some sort of weirdness. Blue, maybe. Blue, I think you could do. Look at this photograph. It's actually a photo frame, and it's this is great. No, there's nothing awful taste about this. This is incredible, and I don't really have many photographs up around my house. In fact, it's something I've thought about before to where, like, say something ever happened, 
and I had to call the police and the police came and I had to be like, no, I swear this is my house. Like it might be problematic because I don't have any photos around my house. They'd be like, you sure this is your house? I'd be like, no, hundred percent. It's not, it's not the burglar's house. It's my, it's my house. <laughs> I promise. So I should get some more photos up around my house, shouldn't I? This company intentionally dents its bags as a design. I present to you the equivalent of ripped jeans for bags. Uh, huh. I mean, hopefully it's it's durable. I think the reason why they do this is it's probably like super flimsy. So what's gonna happen is like the first time that you get it off of an airplane, if it wasn't pre-dented, it would just be like in really bad shape. But this way, it already has a bunch of dents from the get-go so that when you get it off the plane at baggage claim, you're not gonna really notice the difference, right? That's also the beauty of having like an old car that already has a bunch of dents, is you can't even tell if someone opens this door into you because you're like, was that there? I can't remember. I have a lot of dents. I don't know if that one's new or if that one's been there for the last 10 years. I'll see your flamingo lamp and another, we got another raise boys, and raise you a $6,500 life-size horse lamp. Are you kidding me? I love these. I'm sorry, but these are not awful taste, but great execution. These are cool. I. I actually at one point thought about getting one of these because I think they're amazing. It would have been a smaller variant. That's like a little too big. You, I think this is also like way too big for the space. It's actually hitting the roof. This is another thing where it requires a gigantic space for it. And that was the problem is even a smaller version. I was like, I think it's kind of cool. Some people probably think it's really stupid and that's fine, but I think it's kind of cool. But even the smaller one, I, it's just going to take up too much space. I can't. No, I don't think I can do anything with this. So, but if it was just a gargantuan place, I think it's pretty cool. American pool table. Why are there so many balls down there? How do you play pool with this many pool balls? Is this multiplayer pool or something like that? I'm just imagining a video game that probably already exists where you have a bunch of different maps for your pool games. So you can choose whatever sort of shape that you want. It must exist, but I don't know if they actually have the, you know, North and South America. Does it get shorter, actually? Is that why all the balls are over here? Is it actually on an incline? Is it straight? They turned it into a putting green. All the balls are actually, they're inclined to go down here, but they can't actually make it through Panama. So they get stuck at Panama, and it kind of splits the board in two. Formula One wheels on a regular bike. That seems like it would be heavy? I don't know. Know, maybe they're really light. I'm sure that the wheels are pretty light, but they, like all that rubber has got to be kind of heavy. I don't know if you've ever held just a tire, but they're, they're kind of heavy. And being able, like actually putting those onto a bike, I don't think you'd have much of a chance of getting up a hill on that. And it's also fixed gear. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the way that the chains are hooked up here, it just gives you an incredible amount of leverage, so you can't actually go very fast. You're gonna be spinning the pedals like crazy, moving a couple miles an hour, but at least you'll be able to go. I bet you that is just incredibly heavy. Located at a bar in Shinjuku, Japan, there's a bathroom with a giant against head located in front of the toilet. Activated by pressure from the seat, the face sings a strange drunken tune and slowly moves towards you, making the room smaller and smaller until its lips kiss your knees. Uh, huh. Okay. How many knees has it kissed? Because I don't, like, I don't really... So hopefully if you just go pee, it doesn't have to do that. Because I'm going to try having to avoid going number two in, in the public bathroom, especially with that thing looking at me. Yeah, it might not be real, but I'm still not... Mm -mm. No, I'm, I'm good. And also, I don't want the thing to that has also touched many people's knees to also touch my knees while I'm pooping. Mm, I'm, I'm good. Oh, God. Imagine being someone who has to design a mechanism that connects pressure from a toilet seat to a gigantic head moving towards that toilet seat. What an original invention. Uh, you should definitely patent it so that nobody else can steal this idea and use it elsewhere, or you can license it out. Because I'm sure a lot of other places would love to implement something just, just like it. And the top for the last month, my sister got this for my colorblind brother. <laughs> oh god. And presumably it's it's such that it actually just looks like a patch of just the same color to your colorblind brother. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. <laughs> it 
it's kind of funny and also really mean. <laughs> Someone's gonna call it out at some point. And then they're gonna be like, I knew there was something up with this. Doesn't make sense. Why did they give me this weird pattern on this pillow? Why not just a regular old pillow? I knew, God dang it. I knew it. <laughs> the person's gonna like snap a photo, take it into Photoshop, change the hue on it, and then it's gonna be like, ah, mm-hmm. Nice. Great. Can't believe I just put that out on display while mom and dad came over and visited. <laughs> it's probably mom and dad that pointed out. Oh, boy. It's kind of funny, though. Anyway. That's it for the last month of Awful Taste but Great Execution. Again, for Great Execution, check out Instagram.com slash Jordan Marin. Give it a follow. Get jarred onto 1 mil into 2021. Also, make sure you're subbed here on uh, Jordan Reacts and check out the playlist for more of this or you can just click over here for the last Awful Taste but Great Execution. Latest Marin music upload down below it. And that's it. I'll see you next time.